thought it, it's d- dim, distant in the background, but the cops just totally fucking punked me. They asked me what they want to do, and I said, well, you should do your job. It brought Skeeter for Penal Code 418, illegal lockout by shutting off the power on me. And, he, and he's like, oh, if you're going to tell me how to do my job, I'm out. And fucking just left. So she admits and brags that she violated the penal code. Cutting off a tenant's power is a violation of California Penal Code 418. That's a crime. It's a misdemeanor. It's arrestable. She did it today. And she did it several other days. But today, she did that shit. And the cops won't do shit. Oh, and she called the cops, too. For what? She doesn't have an eviction. She tried a restraining order and got laughed out of court without me getting to give my side of the case. If any of the trolls or something have audio enhancement or whatever, maybe I'll put up the... It's a six-minute video. Maybe I'll put that up to see if it's... Because I heard, I just heard a sound at random, and I kicked my camera on, and she comes in yelling all the time. So I just kicked my camera on and set it down, forgot about it. And when someone hollered at me, I went to answer that, and I just left the phone where it was, and it was recording. So it was a coincidence, whatever I got. They didn't think I was recording. But that's fucked up. So they're just like, oh, someone commits a crime against you, you're a faggot retard, and it doesn't matter. Well, I think it's people need to start realizing if the laws don't apply to me, that means more than one thing. She has caused so much trouble. And the only accusation she has is I threw away all her things. No, I didn't. I meticulously saved anything and everything of value. Or not of value, of any anything... That wasn't spoiled. Like, I left food that was beyond its best buy date that just didn't look like a health hazard. Like, oh, this bologna is eight days past its best buy. But that's still in there. That's still in there. And now, that that was, what, two weeks ago when that happened? I'll, I'll, I'll show that one. Like, I left that. I know it's still in there. Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay. Well... Hold on. We ripped out all the food from the fridge and threw out everything. So I guess that went with it. But uh, huh. when, when I, I I saw it, I was like, it was just a couple of days past its Best Buy date. I'm like, anything that's on a health hazard is safe. Well, we've got the video of all the other stuff that had mold growing on it. There was six months expired. There was yogurt from last year. December 23rd was the expire date. And this was May. We're looking at it. I, there's no question. It's spoiled. The only accusation she has is I threw away all her things. But no, 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 no. I did a basic amount of cleaning. And remember, my stuff, all my stuff, my real stuff, including my survival supplies. Here, I'll fucking shoot it. This is the items I switched out. John's stuff was in here. And this stuff was buried. Uh, all the, I mean, it's not organized in here, and I just fucking threw it in here. I mean, I, I'm the laborer. No one's paying me for my time. And, like, this is my actual hardcore. So that's the water filter. Those are tie downs, the tarp, tent stakes. Like, my survival get, gear was in there. These are like the bags, the, the, mountaineering pack and the European travel bag I had like this is all my shit and it was buried out there under her hoarding so I cleaned it up to a degree got my stuff out of there and switched it put all John's stuff in there and put my stuff in here and since then she's re-hoarded and re um created a pile And the police are offended that I asked them to do their job. And I'm like, well, look, if you don't want to do your job, how about we don't give you your paycheck? These fuckers make six figures crushing lives. Oh, and get this. I was in the middle of the game and I just left it where it was and wandered off. Which is rude. And I lost. And it was ranked. 
And that was a long, drawn-out fucking game. Could have won. I played StarCraft earlier today, too. I played three games. I won two, then lost one. Two out of three. And all, I'm platinum ranked. High platinum ranked. I think rank 13 on the ladder. That's getting up there. You know. Tw uh, maybe even 12. Oh, after I won, I think I went up to 12. Eight, eight to be on top eight is considered the podium. She thinks she's just going to walk all over me and take my rights. She's calling me a squatter. When she stayed with me for three and a half months, and you pay at the beginning of the month, she didn't even offer rent money. And she wouldn't stop hoarding at my house. And she stole from my neighbors and shit. Like, she went out to walk her dog, and she stole my neighbor's vape pen. Why? She doesn't smoke. It was a nicotine vape pen. I don't smoke. She don't smoke. Why would you take it? And I kept having to lecture over and over and she wouldn't get their head and decided to break down her look. If it's not yours, don't touch it. That's my neighbors. It's their little tree they sit and smoke under. I think I, I know the, the dude it was too and he was cool. He was nice to me. One, one time when the cops were there, he fucking stood up for me and stuff and I appreciate that. Like, it's a member of the community that had my back. Cool. Okay. He probably got distracted on his phone or something and walked off and left his vape pen. It's his yard. It's his little fucking tree. It's our communal property. She's the guest. Why you take his shit? How do you benefit? What did you gain by stealing his shit? 99% chance he would have come back out to smoke again later and found it there. It was right at the bottom of my stairs. The, one the apartment I had. It's just the place where he smokes. Because you can't smoke inside anywhere. Even I... Went outside to... I vaped inside, but I went outside to smoke at my own place. You don't smoke inside in California. It's just... There's there's fire risk and shit. There's there's reasons. Right? It's just, you know, it's, I can't believe the police just pulled that shit. Like, they're like, oh, you're going to tell us how to do our job? All I said was you should do your job and arrest her for the penal code violation. I didn't commit a crime. She committed a crime. Oh, by the way, she's keeping her little dog in her hot car all day, every day. And the house ain't no better. There's no environmental controls. It's this little four-inch fan. That's a wrap. It's what she got. It's what she, oh, and she cut the power on that today. So for that hour um, that that was fucked off, uh, there wasn't even that. There wasn't even a four-inch fan. So the dog never has air conditioning. Ever, at any time. She broke the air conditioner in the house and she can't turn it on. The dog's either hot box in her car or hot box here at the house. We're in the desert. It gets warm. It's already... I think it was supposed to be in the 90s this week. And it's just a wrap. That's The, the, the dog just has to suffer. And that's a chihuahua. It can probably deal with heat pretty well. But she's just belligerent. I'm, I'm going to have to sue her. Because I still want the money. She owes me $1,000 for this phone. She could have the phone. But I can't extend the payments and finance it for three years like I, I, we were going to. And she fucked up the big discount I was going to get on it. Because she broke her phone in the two days she, in between signing up for it and when we're supposed to send it in. And... I, I have to have to start paying 40 a month in service fee or pay it all off thousand flat and I don't and it's pink of all things I don't care I'll fucking use a pink phone but let's be honest I wouldn't have chosen it but I got that for her 
you should have heard the the salesman when, when I was signing up for like, oh, you must really like this girl. I'm like, well, she's like a family member to me, and she needs a nice phone. And I got insurance on it and everything because I know she's bad about breaking phones. So I was like, well, we'll just assume she's going to break it. I'll get insurance so we can fix it. And she threw a hissy fit. Like, it took longer to get the service activated than it, like... It, we, I activated it in the night, and the phone came on, but it wasn't getting text messages, and I even tested that and proved it. Like, look, here, I'll send you a text. You're not getting it. It's not activated yet. It takes a while to switch your number over to a different service. Stop doing your email verification text thing, and she did it too many times and got herself locked out of her account. She wouldn't listen. And it's not my fault that it takes a while to do that stuff. We're doing something complicated, and that's... And she also bitched that night, and I asked her when we got back in for that night, do you want me to cook dinner first, or do you want me to work on the phone first? And she told me to cook dinner first, so I did. And then she bitches about it. Like, I can't do two things at once. And remember, this bitch can't even cook. She can't even cook an egg. She'll burn an egg. She turns it on max heat and shit. And that's at my house I'm talking about. I haven't done anything wrong. She... One of the worst things she did was blab about me and, and run her mouth to the community and her the other roommate and say I was gay. I don't identify as gay, and I don't act gay, and it would have never come up. I'm a shattered old man now. I'm not... It, 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 it's not something that would have ever come up. I make cracks about bitches' asses and stuff. I represent as heterosexual. I don't define myself as gay. So if she hadn't gossiped about me, he was cool with me. Before, it was all on one day. He started tripping about the internet and stuff. It was like, yeah, it's your fault. The huge bill I have, you ran it up. No, I just got here. And I switched the service over and put it in my name and nothing to do with you. What? what? And then he started calling me faggot. And he admitted flat out Romana told him that. Well, she shouldn't have been telling my personal business. And then the other dude, her current male friend, um, she called him my gay lover just because he wouldn't lie on me in court. And he showed me some respect. And now he is pissed at me. Because we got fucked up together. And I tried to stop him from driving off fucked up. He had never done shrooms in his life. He did them with me. And he was having a paranoid bad trip. Talk about poison food and everything else. And I tried to stop him from leaving. Which anyone is obligated to do. And if you don't do. You can even be legally liable. Like you can't fucking. So the beer was mine. Food and beer and shrooms were all mine. Like, I fucking got him fucked up, so I'm responsible. I did everything in my power to prevent him from leaving, and he physically... Like, that's no skin off my back. I tried to fucking stop. And luckily, nothing happened. But I don't approve of that. I've never had a DUI. I'm really not bad about that type of thing. I'm, I don't... <sighs> Modern Horizons 3... They released so many of these fucking magic sets. It's only been like a month since the last one came out. I can't believe how many they, they released. And I try to keep up with it, but it's just too much. I put $100 in for the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Just so I have a current set and a deep pool of cards. So I've been experimenting with like downloading pro deck lists and fleshing them out and actually paying for the cards. And I've got a pretty big collection these days. And... I've saved up a bunch of packs. One gold pack. Two Mythic Rare packs. I think one of these is Alchemy. And this is, These are Alchemy. And this, this is Standing Out. It's under Junction. That's 14 packs to open. Here, we'll open one. And, just for the... and these are all... Those gold packs are all... Rare cards. Shit. Two firsts. All legendaries. Mole God. The God cards are particularly rare. And there's some, it's one of those statuses that certain cards affect. So a legendary creature, Mole God. That's pretty cool. And an eight mana green dino. Elder Dinosaur. <laughs> it's 
So I bought some packs, but I really don't buy a lot. Most of them I earn. And I've been trying to get into a um, limited. Trying to play that. Because I'll pay a little bit for something. I want to get to the point where I can go to the stores and physically play with people. Like... And I've got, if you look at what the shit I had open, like when she cut off the power this morning, and what I'm looking at, look at all this stuff I'm looking at. Um, I'm looking at Camping World and these travel trailers that I might be able to live in. Like, look at this one. This one looks pretty fucking cool right here. 31000 I got approved for a 38000 one. It's all the way in Montana, though, but, you know. And it's got like a built-in center here. I could put this little table thing right here in front of it. It's got a big-ass subwoofer and an amp there built-in. It's a toy hauler. It's got a place for my bikes. It's kind of a cool-looking one. And look at the estimated payment, two forty six a month. In California, a thousand dollars is rent. So that's reasonable. And I've looked at trucks and I, I could just finance a fairly newish like twenty eighteen, twenty twenty, like F two fifty fifth wheel or this one's a ball hitch, I think. Yeah, this one's a ball this one even a uh, fifth wheel. This is a ball hitch. This is how nice you can get them with with a ball hitch. This one's got a generator already in it. And it's a four thousand watt. That's a pretty good generator right there um and I'm, I'm i'm looking at craigslist ads for them all these are look at this one this one only three thousand pounds three thousand eight hundred pounds and that would be pretty easy to tow it's a small efficient one um, it's got a little bitty slide on it too <laughs> this one's only 16,000 half the price of what I got and financing's available on this one look at that that, that looks pretty cool I don't really like those bunk beds. But I could try to and this one's a weird toy hauler. It's got it's a front loading toy hauler. It's got a porch in the front. So different. But you can finance it, and if I can get, I got approved for a thirty-eight thousand dollar one. So sixteen thousand, yeah, I'm gonna get approved for that. It's in Santa Ana. Front toy cargo carrier. And financing of a couple of hundred a month. This is a real option. The only thing I'm concerned about. Crooked ass police separating from it. Towing it. And me losing everything. If it wasn't for corruption. Look at this one. This one's the fifth wheel one I looked at. And it's and I think I can get approved for I got a I did get approved for a hundred and twenty thousand dollar class A. 
I, that was the most expensive one I got approved for. And I got to stop applying for credit things. But look how big this one is. It's a fifth wheel one. It's got a, a bedroom with a slider and a wardrobe like walk-in closet. Huge bathroom. And that's up on a second level. And the garage has two sets of beds. Like, look how big this is. And it's got a fireplace. And this is a slider. Like... <laughs> this is livable. Another option is to get just a, a cargo van, a Sprinter van, and live in it and not have an RV. Just, I can use the camping hammock combo, and if I, if I rig up the, the hammock inside, corner to corner, it should work. And I may be able to set up a place with the computer terminal and shit in there. Because that's all I need is a, a, a one chair for me to work on my computer terminal and a sleeping place. And that's all I really need. They have air conditioners. I've, I've formed a, a list of uh, oh. I made a list of possible travel trailers from Camping World, which is a major chain, and there's some advantages of Camping World. Um, you can, if you have mechanical problems or something, you're allowed to crash in their parking lot for up to three days. And there's 200 of them across the country, and they have warranties and all this. Look at this. This one's only 19,999, 20 grand. So I'm, I'm, I'll get approved for it for sure because I got approved for 38,000 already. And the payment estimate, and I'll pay a little more than this. My credit isn't fantastic yet, but it's one fifty nine a month. Do you know how cheap one fifty nine a month is for someone like me? And this is a um, it's a toy hauler. and it's got the the beds that I think those are automatic, like. Like they're and it's got two doors. You can get into the bedroom separately. You see, it's all open right here. I could I could put this desk, this thing right here. I could mount it and like tie it. There's there's cleats in the floor. All I have to do is tie it down, and I can set up and and get some sort of mount for a monitor. And this TV is big enough. And it's not even super high quality. I'll probably end up getting a gaming monitor. And I have two TVs. There's a little TV up here in this one. But look at this. The, the, the beds like go to the ceiling. And I think those are like automatic. These are like those power screw things. So you can put the motorcycles in the back. When you're traveling. And then take them outside the park. Look at it. It's almost perfect for me. A single chair. It's got one recliner and one little space here where I can make an office. And kitchen, bathroom, and the bedroom in the front. 
and I'd have some privacy if I did try to like howl some crackheads or something for extra money, which is a suicidal idea, but you just gotta fucking check all the boxes. Like, what resources do I have? I actually like that bathroom too. That's the shower looks open. Like it's not claustrophobic. Some of them are a little bit sketchy for me. It's even got a TV in the bedroom, a separate TV already in the bedroom. It's got speakers outside. I could go to festivals and shit if I had something like this. And that now now that's another option. I could really have um, guests at a, a festival. Those people were cool. They were, they were nice and honest, and no, no one was stealing. The festival thing I went to was the the best thing I ever did in life. Those people were cool. I, I would pick up some some prostitutes at a festival and let them stay in my trailer. That would actually be something cool. And it'll get me back in the gym more because I'll be showering at the gym more. You can shower in these, but it's just so inconvenient. And five dollars a day, it says. Well, I've got a lot of options. But I need to be very careful with my money because it's a once-in-a-lifetime chunk of money. And I have all my nice stuff, the office stuff, from the desk to the keyboard and mouse, which I pulled the trigger on while I was here. I got the new keyboard and mouse and everything, wrist guard, the whole nine yards. I don't need to spend any money. I got my PlayStation, and I got an offer. I had an old for sale posted up on Wanted. Uh... And someone hit me up and offered me 300 for the PlayStation the other day. I might take that. Man, I should send him an email and fucking take that right now. Because the PlayStation Pro will be out before I ever get housing again. But these are real options. This one says $159 a month payment. And then put on another 250 or so for the truck payment. It's doable. And I already own motorcycles, so the crazy gas doesn't really hurt me. I'm used to commuting on a bike. I'm used to doing everything on a bike. So I just, with parking laws and shit, just every three days, you got to move a couple of feet, a couple of car lengths. I, I moved the other side of a street or something, just to, for safety's sake. But, uh... And I'd be building equity. You see, there's a floor to these prices. They stop going down, and twenty thousand or some round, and it's about where they it stops. So if I get one, it's 2015 here. It's already depreciated. So if I get it and I pay on it for five, six, eight, ten years, it'll still be worth about what I paid for it. It's the new ones that take such drastic depreciation when you buy them. This is a viable option. And maybe, like, a lot of my stalkers beat up on me because I'm homeless. What if I own a travel trailer and home? If I own my own home, would I be considered homeless anymore? I have a business center, an address. Oh.
her freaking out and causing problems is just delaying what I need to do. Although my financial calculations right now are telling me don't spend money because I have um, I'm trying to get it right. If only it wasn't for everyone working. Oh, did you just see in the video her talking about Raging Rob? They're made for each other. Schizophrenic, ugly as all, get out, stupid, MAGA hagas, forced birthers. Let them. But I'm sick and tired of people walking all over my rights. And for the stalkers that, that are trying to manipulate you into attacking me over her, those same stalkers that are doing that, they attack her. I can show, I'll put that right here. I'll, I'll pull that up right now. I left it public just as a matter of record. Back when she um, did a service dog access check video with me, right there. CW no PP, a Raging Rob account. We will target the hunchback. I think Raging Rob is going to take a look. And that's on the video she did with me. And by the way, they discriminated against her. They lied, and then they lied about it. They, did, they said something illegal to her, and 10 minutes later said, nope. And how do we know it's Raging Rob? You, you, just, you just open that... Account, look at the account, and what do you have? Oh, it's Raging Rob. This AI tool will take your idea and create a complete book, complete with design, image. Donald Trump. I'll and he's monitoring. You're damn right. Fair enough, dude. Spanking dudes. Fair enough. That will. I'll... And what we have is Raging he's Rob. He's upset that existence is a nightmare for him, I guess. Raging Rob has guns. This is the man that Romano was talking about Electric playing with. Messiah. I even forgot about you. You were running your mouth. Oh, Electric Messiah. It's the group. It's the, it's the Illinois stalkers. How did I get it too upset? And then he tells me to shut the fuck up and stop making YouTube videos. Well, I'm back. And I'm making fucking YouTube videos again. This is the guy that Romano's partnering with. And he's got an assault rifle with a banana clip. Pretty sure the first rule of a gun is every gun is loaded and don't point a gun at things you don't intend to destroy. So maybe don't just brandish it in your house. I'm pretty sure that's real, by the way. I don't know, but I've seen him shooting real guns many times, and I've seen him with piles of weapons cases. I would assume this is real. May he rot in hell. We had a conversation on how the two shows blend together because they had the same talking points, and there was so little variety that every two days you feel like you're listening to the same stuff over and over. For the record, yes, it was just rage bait and doomer shit. Like... I've said before, I'm not even inherently against, like, all gun ownership, but sure as shit, this guy shouldn't own a gun. Look at him. Look what he's doing with it. He has no respect for it as a weapon. He has no respect for the fact that it could kill someone. Look at him. It's like a toy to him. Ridiculous. Um, Vast Lunacy says it's going to be wild when screenshots of this vid are in the news coverage of his eventual shooting. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a thing. People like this that I have Google alerts on, including a bully that caused me to put kiddo in online school. They like it better anyways. Oh, and a hydrate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's real. I 
don't think the governor is going to sign me anyway. I'm not really worried. Well, I'm not even in Arizona. I'm in Michigan now. And I guess it looks like I'm here to stay. I got some other... He's a long-distance truck driver. He gets around. He's been in California and made videos addressed to me showing himself like on the Hollywood Walk of Stars and shit. Got done shoveling some fucking snow. We got like a half foot of snow last night. So it looks like Pasaya. He's running his mouth saying that. <laughs> my, one group of my stalkers fuck with him. And they fuck with each other. And they're both my stalkers. But they bully me and each other. And then I hear about this SB 1625. These stupid fucking liberal senators in Arizona. That sounds interesting, profane priestess. And bring California type gun legislation to Arizona. In a state that's constitutional carry. The governor himself said he supports red flag laws. So it's, it's, it makes me wonder. It always seems like the people with the most red flags that are against red flag laws, huh? It's gonna veto it or sign it if it does get that far, which I don't think it'll get that far. But if it does, you got a bunch of patriots like myself that stand with the other patriots. Look at it! What are you doing? Why are you holding it like that? People are and says, oh my god, Hannah, have you seen the vampire weapon system? I'm not pro-gun, but I want this not TOS to show. I want what? You didn't put a link. It's Patriot Michigan. Stands with my fellow patriots in Virginia, which is on the brink of civil war. And uh, I stand with my patriots in Arizona. Oh yeah, he's an insurrectionist. MAGA all the way. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fighting. This is for fun. There are many like it, but this one is not mine. Oh, he's literally okay. No, okay. I was making a full metal jacket joke. Okay. But he's not joking. He mentally doesn't understand the point of full metal jacket, so that's interesting. Does he watch Full Metal Jacket and think all like, oh, this is fucking awesome? I fucking love the military, man. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, do, 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 rising of the clockwork with two months says, take more of my money. You have earned it from this year's of, uh, years, from years of entertainment and laughs. Thank you. Without me, my wife was useless. I will respect my wife. Okay, for those who maybe don't know the film, the thing that he's quoting from Full Metal Jacket Full Metal Jacket is like one of the best anti-war movies like ever. Um, no, please stop. I'm assuming that's where he heard it from and not just generally as a Marine. <laughs> Who knows though? Oh, I will clean my rifle daily. What's that I wonder if he does Marines? that. My enemy. This is some larp ass shit right here. The something my rifle. I don't know. Whatever. There are many like it. But this one is mine. And this one is not for sale. And this is my personal property. Is he trying out for pile? <laughs> I'm not. Can we get a Kubrick stare comparison? Hold on. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Rob. Oh, no wonder he's emotionally attached to that movie. Oh, God, Rob. <laughs> so. And still my personal property. He is cuddling I the gun. Don't want to go that route. Look at he's still over here. Seven is the official gun of Marxist revolutionaries. He seems more like an shorts, comatic, right? Sick shit. Paid in sick ass shit. I need to. Okay, dude, I'm serious. Hmm. Like, he's got many, many videos of him with guns. I've yeah, seen him with a whole pile. I mean, I couldn't count the number. We're talking 20 plus weapons cases. And he was at a firing range and shooting one of them and returning it to the pile of cases. Um, so if you think your your the, the, this girl, that's Raging Rob right here. 
and they're saying they're going to target her. She, uh, it was a video I did covering the illegal discrimination. They did. She helped me do a test on certain. Now, look at this. The California Penal Code, which they just violated, specifically says, um, guide, signal, or service dog means any dog trained to work or perform tasks for the benefit of an individual with disability, including but not limited to guiding individuals with impaired vision, alerting individuals with impaired hearing to intruder sounds, pulling a wheelchair, fetching dropped items. It, it, there's a reason all that's in there. You because see, alert, uh, for someone with PTSD like me, alerting to an intruder that is enough to make it a service dog. There's many things you can have, uh, so you only need to identify one task, but. They said that uh, well, seeing eye dogs I only at the YMCA, um, you know. Thankfully. And she helped me get a video uh, of that. I, and I sent her in to do a sting. And they said one thing to her and then came back. Um, I came in 10 minutes later. Uh, and they're like, oh, we never said that. It was a sting operation. I got you on video. I just watched the video. So think about that. They committed a crime against this old lady. And then they lied about it 10 minutes later. Like, we would never say such a thing. Oh, it's on video and we just did. No comment. <laughs> and she's partnering with Raging Rob. And Raging Rob is saying that his group will target the hunchback. And that's her. Now, keep in mind, this is my house. And she was staying with me then. Very easy to manipulate. Like, they're trying to take advantage of this old lady. Okay? You all can hate on me all day. You're going to hate on an old nurse? What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, they just violated her rights. And they said, only seeing eye dogs, so your soldiers with PTSD, um, people in wheelchairs, old ladies, they... they, they I mean, I know that they do. I know that they do. You all only see the part that gets recorded, but when I'm all sweaty and shit in the middle of a workout or something, they come and do this to me, I don't always catch that first part of it. Got to do a sting operation. And the fact that they changed what they said in 10 minutes and said we never said that means that they knew what they said was wrong when they said it. Yep. They knew they were lying yep. to her. Yep, think about that. They only had 10 minutes. They didn't change their training and update everything in 10 minutes. When they said that to her, they knew what they were saying was illegal. But they did it anyway because they felt like discriminating against her and fuck her rights, okay? You know, so this, this was good work. It's a service dog civil rights access check. I don't call those audits. No one's ever called those audits. I, I, I call it service dog access check. And that's... Just that's my main thing with with civil rights. Now I got started on YouTube and all that. If anyone, a lot, a lot of the people in this new stuff are, aren't familiar with all that. That was the main thing. So she was living with me. Guess what? She paid no rent, and she junked up my place and made it filthy as hell. And she stole my neighbor's vape pen and shit. And she was hysterical and doing the schizophrenic shit. She's in that room sitting right there. She showed me a picture of her family, like a, a part of Steve McQueen's family. And I had her text me the picture. And I did a reverse image lookup and found it. I was like, oh, no, this came out of a magazine. This isn't a personal photo. Here's where this photo was taken, the exact thing. And she screeched and did a yelling thing for a few m minutes. And then she calmed down and chilled out and fucking stopped saying all the schizo shit. Like, yeah, I'm the mother of Michael Jackson's children. Um, but... It's not right for them to discriminate against her. It's not right for Region Rob to target her. But it's not right of her to violate my rights. Have me move out here and blow all my money and waste hundreds of dollars. Thousands once when she talked about the phone and the furniture and shit. All the stuff I had to buy for here and the, the silverware organizer and pots and pans and all this shit. She's just crazy. And it's not going to stop. Her family already gave I've met her sister. And I asked her about the schizophrenia and the hoarding. And she's like, yeah, we know. She's a basket case. We just put her out of our lives and keep her at a distance. That's her biological family. 
and for all the, the twist of fate, she's the closest thing I have to family. She's all I have in the world. So do you understand this is also somewhat emotional too? For her to run her mouth about me being gay? I'm a professional cocksmith. Calling me a faggot isn't really... That doesn't square up, man. But she shouldn't have been gossiping about me. And I'm disappointed that she would identify me as gay. No, 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 no. I've had women. The most recent one, as if I'd get any, any action now that I'm crippled and all that shit, but the video I have from 2020, it was a woman. The last time I got paid for sex was a woman. And I was deep into the accident and me being crippled. and So... What is that? Oh! It's stalkers and it's the electric massage shit from this video. Look, the police won't do anything about this. Hey, dummy, or I mean, sea sucker. Why do you think making a video about calling a disabled old lady that she'd been illegally dosing with drugs all bullshit and saying that she had a sinky pussy an okay thing to do? As I've always known, you make yourself look stupid, but keep going. It's great entertainment personally. I think you need to be charged with elder abuse. For what? For cleaning or hoarding mess? Also, well, the police fill you full of lead, sea sucker. Eventually, the management of 55 plus mobile home community will serve you with an eviction. Yeah, sure, I will welcome proper papers. I think it's great. Three evictions since 2023. Keep up the good work, sea sucker. It's because of the socialist mindset of that fat, dirty, despicable, sea sucking faggots like you. Blame others for your problems. I'm going to keep watching and reporting you to local law enforcement. MAGA. This is probably Raging Rob right here. The dude was playing with the gun we were just showing. And there's the phone number, so... So, homophobic, MAGA, insurrectionist, death, death threats. He's manipulating the police. What is the accusation for elder abuse? What is that? The only... Thing she said, even in court, was I threw away all her things, like the jugs of piss and the diapers full of shit. That's the only accusation, you motherfucker. And yeah, she stole my pot cake. Frankly, you now owe me. Like, I'm generous to an extent, but that's my fucking money. And she does have a sneaky ass pussy. <laughs> and she keeps lying about the contract, saying I added pages of the contract. Nope, we signed them both together, and she picked which one she wanted. They're identical. I printed them both at the same time. She's lying. She just lies and lies and lies and lies. This dude correct. Hey, dummy. Er, I mean, cocksucker. Can't make this shit up. Yeah, so... And that's... The text message is either from Rob or the other terror group that bothers me, the Electric Messiah and his group of people. They play with guns. They're insurrectionists. They're all MAGA haggas. And you heard them say it. Faggot, cocksucker, all the rest. They'll say and do anything. They lie, 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 lie. 
And if you're gullible enough to believe them, that makes you look stupid. I'm going to have to file a complaint about the police. But last time I did that, they took me 52 50. <laughs> Kind of an interesting conundrum there is, hey, if you come and complain about the police, we'll take you to the psych ward. We don't want to hear no complaints. <laughs>